Here I am in Clappenwood, West Sussex, famous for paranormal activity, mysterious disappearances, and the feeling of being followed or pushed. So I thought I'd have a wander and see what I could find. And what I did find was not paranormal and it was not mysterious. It was a caterpillar. That reminds me of a story. It's called the Hungry Caterpillar, and I've got it right here with me. And it's by Eric Carr. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon, around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. Well that's another book done. I'm gonna go and see if I can unearth any more of these mysteries. I mean honestly, who believes in these disappearances? Bye!